This is Tom Hartman for CityNetMagazine.com. We're here at Montreal Comic Con 2013 with Neil Adams, a living legend. Nice to have you here. You talk too fast. I've uh, been told that. You noticed that? That's really fast. How are you, man? It's good to see you. I'm doing pretty good, and you? I'm doing fine. I'd like to shake your hand, but you're holding a microphone. Yeah, there I'll you do go. It. All right, solid, solid. <laughs> am I? How am I doing? This is like the. Is this the biggest thing that's happened to this town since whenever? Um, yes, actually, it's been growing for several years. Growing for several years. We came here uh, two years ago. I don't know if it was the first or the second or the third, whatever it was. It was a little primitive, but now it's fantastic. For everybody at home, if they're going to see this, the circus has come to town. <laughs> I mean, the circus has really come to town. It, you cannot ha not have a good time here. Right. I mean, we don't have bad things happening in the world, a little bit now and then. We don't have things to worry about too much. Yeah, a little bit of economy, but you know what? When you were a kid and when I and I was a kid, we went to the circus. Circus would come to town, and it seemed like for two hours we had the greatest time in the world. But this time, we're for three days. Three days, and all we're going to do is have a good time. It's in a venue that has all the best food in the world outside. We just have to walk outside the door. You have comic book artists. You have actors. You have artwork. You have comic books mm -hmm. to the rafters. This is the greatest thing in the world. Every artist that I know, every writer that I know in comic books, we're here to do good work. We're here to show that show what we do, and we're here for our audience. It's not that often you get people who get like even actors get to really meet the audience that they work for. You talk to those actors back there that uh, that come here and talk to the artists and talk to the writers. They're as happy as can be because they're meeting the people that look at their and read their work. Right. What could be better than that? We've never had this kind of thing. I mean, one of the reasons the actors come here is they looked at the comic book guys and said, oh, really? They get to do that? Can't we come? <laughs> well, how do the fans here measure up to the fans you've seen uh, elsewhere? In Montreal? Yeah. Well, aren't there nice people in Montreal? Don't you live here? Oh, we're the best. Aren't they the best? Yeah. Everybody, you can just pull people off, off, the, off the line and they'll tell you they're the best in the world. They have a great time. Uh, they enjoy uh, being here. They enjoy the weather. They enjoy the city. There's lots of new things happening. Look at all the new building that's happening into the, into the city. I was here two years ago. I didn't see half of this stuff going on. <laughs> this building alone knocked me out when I came into this. You, you walk in the, big, in the front of this building, and you go, okay, I'm going to a Comic Con. You go, really? Wow, this is a heck of a place. And then you come in, come up the stairs, and then you come in and you go, oh, this is a Comic Con. But outside, it's this beautiful, wonderful place hiding this gritty, down to earth Comic Con inside. Even that alone is like magic. <laughs> so I, I got to know uh, is there other artists here that you think that uh, measure up to the great Neil Adams? Mm, yes, there are. Really? And I'm, I'm ashamed to admit it. I mean, I'm embarrassed to admit it. There are, there's a, a Oliver Copeel. You got to see his work. Fantastic. There's, a, there's what we call Artist Alley. For anybody in the town who wants to come here, there's a thing called Artist Alley. And it's those red uh, banners that you see going up and down here. Some of the best artists in the world. There's a thing called Black Sad. It's about human beings that are really animals it's sort of like disney uh, they're animals but they're dressed and they walk around and they act like human beings and it's a detective story one of the best artists in the world does black set and he's here at the convention so we're talking about really really talented you know what you go to museums it's sort of embarrassing you go to a museum and you kind of look at the stuff and you're a little bit afraid to say that you think this is junk <laughs> and you know and i'm a I, you know, I feel guilty myself, but most of it is stuff you can't even understand. You can understand what's going on here. This is beautiful artwork by really talented people that you can know and enjoy and read and have a good time while you're doing it. Well, you won't get any argument from me. There you go. I wanted to ask you, though, um, a lot of um, movies and TV shows are actually being converted into comic books. So how do you feel about that? Well, when I get a check for $100,000, for Ra's al Ghul in the third ago Batman movie, and then I got another check for one after that for the same amount, it was hard for me to criticize. <laughs> I found it difficult for me to have anything bad to say about this idea of converting uh, artwork into movies. So maybe I'm a little prejudiced, just a little tiny bit prejudiced in favor of this whole thing. I will tell you, I saw the Avengers, 
I thought The Avengers were one of the best movies I've ever seen in my life. Last Superman movie, I would have to say a little violent for me. I would prefer tone down the violent. You know, I didn't want to see, uh, I don't want to see some of the things, but you know what? As a ride, it's a great ride. It's a great ride. Most of those comic books that are based on, most of those uh, movies that are based on either comic books or, gra or graphic novels or even, you know, mystery stories that appear in graphic novels are fantastically good. And I think it's because they've been pre-digested by comic book fans and you know what's good about them and that's what they make the movie out of. So I think there's a process of quality control that goes on with movies that are made out of comic books. Wonderful. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Adams. Have you had a good time? Absolutely. Are you having a good time? Uh, always. Okay, solid, man. This is Tom Hartman for CityNetMagazine.com. We'll have more for you soon.